The Hawaiian people practiced aquaculture through development of fish ponds Hawaiian, Lokoia, the most advanced fish husbandry among the original peoples of the Pacific. These fish ponds were typically shallow areas of a reef flat surrounded by a low lava rock wall Loco Quapa built out from the shore. Several species of edible fish such as mullet thrive in such ponds, and Hawaiians developed methods to make them easy to catch. The Hawaiian fishpond was primarily a grazing area in which the fishpond keeper cultivated algae, much in the way a cattle rancher cultivates grass for his cattle. The porous lava walls let in seawater or sometimes fresh or brackish water, as in the case of the Menahune fishpond near Lihue, Kaui, but prevent the fish from escaping. Fish ponds were located next to the mouth of a stream, so by opening a sluice gate the pondkeeper provided the fish with water rich in nutrients that had passed through inland, terraced pondfields and returned to the stream. At the time of Captain James Cook's arrival, there were at least 360 fish ponds producing 2 million pounds of fish per year. Several fish ponds have been restored in recent years. Although fish ponds were developed on most islands, the largest number were found in Kiehi Lagoon, Pearl Harbor, and Kanohe Bay on Oahu, and along nearly the entire south shore of Maloka I. Few remain today, although Maloka I offers the best opportunities to view a Hawaiian loco. Three different styles of fish ponds are being reconstructed at the Koloko Onokoao National Historical Park on the Big Island of Hawaii. The non-profit Ao Ao Ona Loko Ia O Maui is restoring Kaopolpo fish pond also known as Koai Ie in Kihei using a mixture of volunteers and skilled stonemasons. See also Fish farming Hiaia, Hawaii Stew pond Notes <laughs>